obsessed with TLC and all the trashy reality TV. It's, it's a, a recap. recap. It's, it's a, a recap. recap. It's a recap. Welcome back to another 90 Day Recap. It's a recap. It's a recap. It's a recap. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, let's start with Sarper and Shekinah. All right, so remember how Sarper ripped out Shekinah's hair extensions by accident last week? And basically, this was the last straw for Shekinah. She could not deal with this anymore. He needs to learn how to control his temper and not throw a bitch fit every time he doesn't like something. So of course, Sarper comes crawling back with his tail between his legs, giving Shekinah the sad puppy dog eyes. Um, and he's like, oh, Shekinah, I did something. I did something so bad, Shekinah. Think of me, Shekinah. Look at me. I am so sad, Shekinah. I don't eat. I don't sleep. I'm in so much pain, Shekinah. Oh, my God. <coughs> Oh my god, my throat. I don't know how much longer I can do the Cookie Monster voice for Sarper. Like, I don't even know where... It, why did I even start doing that? I literally don't know where it came from, but kind of works, right? Okay, I'm gonna... <clears throat> it used to not hurt my throat before, but lately, god, my throat is just so sensitive. <sighs> Anyway, he tries to apologize, and I love how he turned it around and tried to make himself the victim. Like, bro, you are not the victim in this situation, okay? You ripped out Shekinah's hair. It was by accident. Yes, we know it was by accident. But the point of the matter is, you were so angry, you were trying to grab her phone out of her hand that you caught her hair extensions with it, and you gave her a bald spot. He's trying to act all sad, like, oh, Shekinah, look at me, Shekinah, I in so much pain, Shekinah. Sarper, I don't give a rat's ass about your feelings. Okay, Sarper, I have a bald spot. Because if you suffer, that is unacceptable. Okay, I love you. I will do anything for you. She tells him that he needs to go to therapy or else they're done. And he wants to make this grand gesture to show her that he's willing to do anything. Like, he's really, really, really sorry. So he's like, oh, Shekinah, come with me. And she's like, oh my god, sorry, where are you taking me, supper? And he opens up his car trunk and all of the alcohol bottles are in there. I was like, whoa, he is this determined to um, apologize and get her back and to like make things right. He drives to a junkyard and they both throw the bottles and break them. And she's like, oh my God, this is so fun, Summer. This is so fun. I've been wanting you to do this for like two years. Oh my God, Summer. I'm so happy, Summer. And he's like, <laughs> yes, Shokaina, I will do anything for you. Ooh, psh. Ooh, psh. <laughs> psh. After they're done breaking all the bottles, he brings out his little black book that she also wanted him to get rid of, and he throws it into a fire. Oh my goodness, what has gotten into him? I cannot believe the two things that he did not want to get rid of, he got rid of. Obviously, Shekinah is super happy about it, but she still makes it very clear that this is not going to replace therapy. You still need to go. And he's like, okay, Shekinah. You understand that, Sarper, right? Like, you're going to be all in, right, Sarper? I need you to be all in, Sarper. Oh, Shekinah, whatever you say, Shekinah. No, Sarper, that's not. Okay, Shekinah, no problem. I can do anything for you, babe. Anything for you. And she's like, okay, Sarper. So they kiss and they hug and they make up. And he's like, does this mean you will come home with me? And he goes, uh-uh, not yet, Sarper. We have so much to fix and we still have to go to therapy and I still want to take things slow. I was like, okay, Slay Queen. Um, I was very impressed. She stood her ground, she set her boundaries, and she did not waver. I loved it. So they finally go to therapy together, and this is really hard for Sarpa to do. Because in Turkey, culturally, men are viewed as weak when they go to therapy. And I feel like that's such a funny thing to me, because if you can admit, if you are a man and you can admit that you have a problem, recognize it, and seek help for it so that you can become a better man... That is so hot and sexy to me. Like, that is strength, baby. Like, a man who's in therapy, oh my god, my knees are weak. A man who's emotionally intelligent, oh, my fanny flutters. Okay, you see my fanny flutters? But I get it. It's so difficult to go against societal norms, especially when we've been conditioned for so long to think one way. And also, if you're the only one who goes against it, then you're ostracized and people make fun of you and they're like, oh my god, she's so weird. He's so weird. 
Like, I get it. So huge props for Sarper for going to therapy. So, all right, they're in their session with the therapist and they tell her what happened over the birthday weekend. And then the therapist starts doing her job and asking the appropriate questions. But then when Sarper answers the therapist, Shekinah jumps in and she starts doing the therapy. Like she's therapizing Sarper while the therapist is right there trying to do her job. I was just like, Shekinah, zip, zip it. Let me give you an example. All fear of losing her makes me crazy. I want to make her happy. Okay. Well, what do you think happened when you want to make me happy supper, but you end up making me sad supper? I wonder what the reason is why supper. I think you need to internalize it and look inside and see, figure out why you make me sad supper. And she kept interjecting like this. And I wanted her to zip it up because let him do the work. Let him like have these revelations on his own. Like, sh shut up. Moving on to Josh and Lily. So their wedding is coming up and he's just falling short in more ways than one. Actually, in all the ways. And this has nothing to do with his finances and the fact that he can't work or bring anything to the table in terms of money or being a provider. I'm talking about like other things like emotional needs, like making new memories together, like making her laugh, like he's not bringing anything to the table. Lily basically tells Josh that she wants to have schmecks. She's like, hey, we haven't done it since you got here. And like, you know, in Chinese culture, women never initiate. It's the men who need to initiate. So I'm just letting you know, like you should initiate because... I want to have sex. And he's like, oh, oh, yeah. Um, I I've just been really sick with a cold. <coughs> so, yeah, I I'm, you know, I really want to do it too. But, you know, my throat. <coughs> and you guys, he fake or forced a sniffle. Oh, my God. I actually laughed out loud because it was just so ridiculous. He was like, yeah, I've just been sick, you know. I'm like, where the freak did that sniffle come from that was the fakest sniffle i have ever heard apparently in chinese culture you also put on red bedding on your bed before you make love after you get married so it's kind of like a it's just a tradition that they do so she pulls out the red bedding from the closet and she's like josh you see this this red bedding i can't wait to put it on our bed i can't wait to put it on our bed because that means we can finally have schmacks and he's like oh yeah i can't wait yeah i can't wait Mm-hmm. Y'all, what is up with these men on the show not wanting to have schmecks? I mean, if you really don't want to do it, that's fine. But if your partner is wanting to do it and they are confiding in you, then you have to address it. You have to figure out what the issue is and how to go about it. Like somehow, like do something. Don't just avoid the problem. Lily's like, well, sometimes it makes me feel like you don't love me. You know, you don't really touch me. You don't, I, I don't feel desired. I feel like maybe you think I'm not pretty or that you don't like my body. And he's like, no, that's ridiculous. I love your body. That's why I married you. Okay, uh, gee, thanks. <laughs> His responses are so forced and awkward. She tells him, like, she literally drills it into him. She's like, I want it. Okay, I want it real bad. And he's like, yeah. Me too. Okay, so what are you going to do about it, Josh? And she says it again, just in case there was any miscommunication. She needs to make it clear. And she's like, yeah, I want it soon. And he goes, oh, okay, I I'll do it soon. Just give me some time because it's... <coughs> Moving on to Joanne and Sean, the Staten Island mom and her Irish king. Uh, okay, so this is the episode where they finally reveal to their kids that they've been married for two years and nobody knew about it. And obviously when they tell them, the kids are not happy. Joanne doesn't seem too surprised, but Sean is so taken aback. He's like, oh my God, I thought you guys were going to be happy for us at first. Dude, they're kids. They're your kids, y'all. Oh my God, I don't understand how Sean doesn't get this. You guys got married and then basically lied to them every day in their faces saying that she was your girlfriend or he was your boyfriend. And of course, the, the kids are kind of taken aback and confused and upset and sad. Like, I don't understand why that's such a surprise to him. And especially the teenage boy, he thought he was close to them both. And he trusted them. The, like, they're the adults that he trusts the most, that are the closest to him. And he feels kind of betrayed. We're married. For two years? Congratulations, then. I'm annoyed with her because she she does say, oh, you could tell me everything. Don't, don't be afraid to tell me anything. And then... She keeps it a secret for two years that they're married. 
none of the kids are handling this well. And again, you can see Sean is so confused. He's like, I don't know why you guys are so upset. Sean and I were so wrapped up in our own little world, in our own little bubble. Yeah, no shit. This is so irresponsible. This is so rude. This is so dumb. Like, why would you do that? Why would you secretly get married? I don't understand. It's not like he was trying to move here or she was trying to move there like right away. Why did they get married? And in secret for two years. That's so bizarre to me. Moving on to Statler and Dempsey. They are on a boat. Statler is having an anxiety attack. Dempsey does not like the anxiety attack. So she's like, can you just stop feeling anxious? Like, I, I want to be excited. I want to be excited and I want to share my excitement with you, but I, you're not excited. You're just so upset. And Statler's like, Dempsey, I am having an anxiety attack right now. I'm trying to keep myself together. I am on a boat and I just, you are too much right now. Just leave me alone. And it's very clear that Dempsey does not understand anxiety or get anxiety attacks. I don't even think she believes it. And Statler, I can see this now. Statler did, I think Statler mentioned in one of her social media posts that Dempsey doesn't believe that like mental health struggle is a real thing. And I can tell. I can't stand Statler, but damn, I felt bad for her. I felt bad for Statler in this moment. You can tell she's clearly struggling right now. And Dempsey's in her face saying, I'm so happy. I want you to be happy. You're ruining this happy moment. Just be happy with me. Oh my God. Bruh, she can't be happy right now. What don't you understand about that? Girl, that's just not how it works. Listen, being with someone who has mental health struggles, I get it. It is not easy, especially when the other partner has a normal functioning brain. They have no mental health issues. It's like you are so lucky. I am so jealous of you. We are all so jealous of you. And I get that it's frustrating. You don't get it. But when you're aggravated and you're impatient and you're whining and you're like, I get it. Statler is not pleasant at all. She is, woo, she is one negative Nancy, I get it. But by Dempsey just like, da -da 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 like constantly being in her ear, like, why aren't you happy? Just get rid of the anxiety. Like, just be happy. That makes things so much worse. Like, it's not going to help. <laughs> Well, that's it for the recap. What did you guys think? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye. Simple, simple, simple minds. I guess we'll take it one.